press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. In an accessible rooftop garden, space becomes available for localized small-scale urban agriculture, a source of local food production. An urban garden can supplement the diets of the community it feeds with fresh produce and provide a tangible tie to food production. Roof gardens are most often found in urban environments. Plants have the ability to reduce the overall heat absorption of the building, which then reduces energy consumption. The primary cause of heat buildup in cities is insulation, the absorption of solar radiation by roads and buildings in the city, and the storage of this heat in the building material, and its subsequent re-radiation. Plant surfaces however, as a result of transpiration, do not rise more than 4 to 5 degrees Celsius above the ambient, and are sometimes cooler. This then translates into a cooling of the environment, between 3.6 and 11.3 degrees Celsius 6.5 and 20.3 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the area on Earth. In hotter areas, the environmental temperature will cool more. Roof gardens are obviously very beneficial in reducing the effects of temperature against roofs without gardens. If widely adopted, rooftop gardens could reduce the urban heat island, which would decrease smog episodes, problems associated with heat stress, and further lower energy consumption. Aside from rooftop gardens providing resistance to thermal radiation, rooftop gardens are also beneficial in reducing rain runoff. A roof garden can delay runoff, reduce the rate and volume of runoff. As cities grow, permeable substrates are replaced by impervious structures such as buildings and paved roads. If you have any question, you can comment below on this video. Finally a request. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel, and stay with us.